All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So we just got the announcement of a brand new sparking unit and a brand new LF unit. You guys can clearly see one of the units on the screen right now, but we got the announcement of sparking Rage Shenron and a brand new LF Omega Shenron. Now, I did record my reaction to the reveal, so check that out first, and then we'll break down what Omega Shenron can do. All right, bro, let's see. Like, who is it? Okay, Sin. That's Ice. Nova. Okay, so what, like an LF? Omega Shenron? Next Shadow Dragon. Rage? Rage Shenron! What the heck? Rage? What in the world? What? I mean, I... This was the natural Rage Shenron. Behold the power of all seven. Okay, yeah, so it, that's definitely Omega Shenron. Okay, so in LF Omega Shenron. But Rage Shenron? Okay, bro, show me Omega. Let, let's see this fire. Let's see this heat. Bro, all the GT buffs. Okay. Gone. Them out. I mean, this definitely makes sense too because of um, the Ultra Omega Shenron unit getting that platinum equipment. Like, GT getting the buff with uh, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. This makes sense. Okay, Dragon Thunder. Oh. Okay, he's just using everything. Farewell, Goku. Your friends will soon join oh. you. Okay. I'll take in LF Omega Shenron. But Rage? <laughs> I'm still shook at the fact that we're getting Rage Shenron. Like, especially before Oceanus. But, hey, it is what it is. Anyway, so we do have LF Omega Shenron. We're going to skip the summarization so we can actually break down his full ability. So starting with his element factor, he's a green unit. His tags are regen, GT, absorption, fusion warrior, shadow dragon, and powerful opponent. And his episode is shadow dragon saga GT. Z ability, Z ability one, plus 22% to tag GT based blast attack and strike defense during battle. Z ability two, plus 26% to tag GT, tag powerful opponent, or tag regeneration, base blast attack, and strike defense during battle. Z ability three, plus 30% to tag GT, tag powerful opponent, or tag regeneration, base blast attack, and strike defense, and plus 15% to tag GT base strike attack during battle. And Z ability four, plus 38% to tag GT, tag powerful opponent, or tag regeneration, base blast attack, and strike defense, and plus 18% to tag GT base strike attack during battle. So. Uh, again, you can use them on GT, powerful opponent, or region, but they're primarily saying use him on GT. So there's that. Strike. So yes, just regular impact strike. 100% chance to inflict strong poison on hit. Blast armor when charging forward. So that's going to give him a lot of versatility. But uh, obviously units that are immune to those abilities won't you know be affected. But apart from that, though, being able to guarantee strong poison on hit is going to be very annoying to deal with. So you really wanna make sure that you have units that are able to nullify those abilities or just aid in some sort of way. Blast, blast impact, 100% chance to inflict strong poison on hit. Okay, so his basic moves allow him to poison the opponent point blank. So striker blast, doesn't matter. You get hit, you're getting strong poisoned. Special move, deals massive impact damage. The following effects occur upon activation plus 30% to special move damage inflicted for three timer counts, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade, minus 50% to health restoration for 10 timer counts, applies the following effects to enemy on hit. 20% chance to inflict faint, oh no. 100% chance to inflict heavy bleed. So the way how this unit seems, it, like he seems to be structured as a saboteur, because again, you're able to inflict poison, and you're also able to inflict heavy bleed, which means that over time, 
you're just going to be losing health so it's not good on top of the fact that if you land that special move you have a one in five chance of being able to inflict faint which is always an annoying ability to get inflicted with so yeah that is absolutely insane special skill restores own key by 50 randomly destroys two enemy cards cancels enemy buff effects inflicts all enemies with two substitution counts inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 20 percent to damage received for 15 timer counts also applies the falling effects to self according to the conditions met 50 timer counts have elapsed from battle start nullifies unfavorable element factors for five timer counts an ally activate uh, activates rise and rush increases dragon balls by one activates once there is a defeated battle member draw the ultimate arts card dark slaughter feast wow okay uh but you draw that next activates once okay so um okay i i i don't know how to feel about this so uh restoring your key is great destroying your enemies cards is great canceling buff effects great um inflicts all enemies with two substitution uh, counts not the best but i mean it's still something right and uh inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 20 percent to damage received for 15 timer counts that's good um it's just the other part that kind of throws me off a little bit you have to wait 50 timer counts from battle start to nullify element factors for five timer counts I, I i think the time frame waited alongside the buff you gain from it is I, i'm not sure about that man because there are units out there that get um element neutrality through much simpler methods much simpler methods like not only that i mean heck for example if you have uh ultras uh super saiyan 4 gogeta he has multiple ways of becoming uh, element neutral right which helps out tremendously and it's not really akin to the fact of him having to wait 50 whole timer counts just to be neutral for five i uh, i mean yes five timer counts can go a long way if like utilized properly but it's just after 50 timer counts he's just neutral for five timer counts and that's it so it, i don't even think like the allotted amount of time like uh wasted i guess in comparison to the buff that you get is worth it in my opinion if it was like 10 timer counts or even 15 then i think that would have been you know worth waiting 50 timer counts but i mean still at the end of the day going element neutral in a general retrospect is always going to be a good thing and then an ally activates rising rush will increase your dragon balls by one that seems kind of backwards to me i mean granted i mean if you're using more than one rising rush then sure but in a general retrospect it's you get a dragon ball after you use the ability that concerns the dragon balls so i i don't know that that just sounds backwards to me and then um although getting an extra uh ultimate is actually good that's always gonna be good so he does have two ults which is great but some of this kind of doesn't make sense to me personally but i guess we'll see what happens when the unit drops and then we have the ultimate deal supreme explode damage the following effects occur upon activation plus 20 percent to ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts nullifies enemies restores health when it reaches zero effects when this character attacks for three timer counts plus 20 percent to ultimate and awakened damage inflicted by allies cannot be canceled activates once plus 20 percent to special move damage inflicted by allied tag gt tag powerful opponent or tag regeneration cannot be canceled activates once okay so i think that's pretty good of course he's an elf unit so he has to nullify endurance um boosting ultimate damage is really good uh not only for himself but also for his allies which is really going to help ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta like even more than you know he already has right because the unit's already powerful now having a unit that's going to help him boost that ultimate which already hits like a nuke yeah you really want to be careful with that and remember this is upon activation it's upon activation so you don't have to land the ult to have those um buffs affect your allies all you have to do is just use the ult even if you miss then your um your allies will get the buff so yeah be very careful of him being paired up with ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta and then special move damage uh for allies as well so again it's it's gonna make super saiyan 4 gogeta hit even harder all right main ability draw the ultimate arts card dark slaughter feast next that's just that's a fire name restores own health by 20 percent and key by 40 cancels own attribute downgrades reduces enemy key by 50 reduces enemies dragon balls by one requirements 25 timer counts must elapse so again you get your ult you get health you get key your attribute downgrades are gone you 
reduce your enemy's key, which is actually really good. And you knock down a Dragon Ball. So if they're close to Rising Rush, or if they do have Rising Rush, they no longer have it, which is good. Unique ability one, applies the following effects to self when battle starts. Plus 110% to damage inflicted cannot be canceled. Oh God, okay. Um, reduces damage received by 70%. Okay, wow. Uh, cannot be canceled. Plus 50% to key recovery cannot be canceled. Minus five to arts cost cannot be canceled. Increases arts card draw speed by one level cannot be canceled. Increases drag malls by one. Okay, so yeah, when the battle starts, you automatically start off with the dragon ball that's good there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever um and then of course he's able to take a hit because of the damage uh, reduction you know he gets damage buffs the arts are five uh five less so that's good yeah there oh and of course the arts card draw speed is always gonna be a good thing so yeah that's that's good the following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield restores own key by 20 plus 90 percent to damage inflicted cannot be canceled activates once plus 30% to blast damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, nullifies own attribute downgrades for fit, or sorry, uh, for 10 timer counts, nullifies own unfavorable element factors for five timer counts, activates three times. Okay, so that's good. Uh, so you pair that with the uh, 50 timer counts and that kind of balances out. Okay, so that, even though that initial ability, I don't really think helps just 50 timer counts for five counts of, uh, you know, element factor, like neutrality, still having the means of becoming element neutral apart from that is is good so i i guess that's fine uh nullifies on unfavorable element factors for damage sustained for five timer counts okay uh seals enemies special arts the sealed arts cannot be used for five timer counts activates twice okay not bad plus 20 percent to or yeah plus 20 percent to damage inflicted for five timer counts every time this character uses a strike or blast arts card the following effects also occur when the enemy is inflicted with an abnormal condition seals one enemy card slot randomly up to one slot simultaneously the sealed card slot cannot be used for 10 timer counts inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 10 percent to damage received for 15 timer counts okay so that kind of plays into you know the strong poison the heavy bleed like uh even faint right like stuff like that that's what it plays into so yeah you really want to make sure that you're attacking your opponent because it's pretty much a guaranteed ability to activate because when you use strike or blast they're inflicted with strong poison since that's an abnormal condition right then by default you're gonna seal an enemy card slot right so and all obviously you know the other abilities as well so it's it's good shortens own substitution count by five when enemy activates an ultimate arts awaken arts or rising rush while this character is on standby okay uh nullifies enemies wide range special arts attacks while this character is in one of the following states activates once sliding or slide or, or slide moving or standing still sidestepping or, or to the left or right i cannot read receiving an attack excludes abnormal conditions and special states caused by certain arts excludes changing cover so um again it says nullifies enemies wide range special arts attacks while this character is in one of the following states and then lists the states right so akin to uh i believe it's fusing gogeta blue who's able to block it um super saiyan god goku the elef unit's able to block it uh in other units as well like even going back to like uh last year's anniversary the yellow uh transforming jiren he was also able to do that too so uh yeah uh if they have an aoe you can block it only once but you can block it so that's good and then unique ability too knocks enemy back to long range if a cover change is performed against their strike arts attack activates during assist combo arts special move arts yeah strike cover follow up with their special move fully charges unique gauge every time own dragon balls increase by one while this character is not defeated after this character's unique gauge resets it will enter cooldown and it will not increase for 10 timer counts resets own unique gauge to zero and the following effects occur if this character uses a strike or blast arts card when the unique gauge is full restores own key by 50 percent okay reduces impact explode and slice damage received by 15 percent cannot be stacked applies until enemy combo is finished okay so you could kind of uh utilize that to try to mitigate uh like an ultimate attack from omega shenron so there's that increases own arts card draw speed by one level for 10 timer counts cannot be canceled applies buff effect nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover to self for 10 timer counts cannot be canceled inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus 10 percent to strike and blast arts power for 10 timer counts wow okay 
Oh, it, it kind of seems like this unique gauge is made to counter himself. That's what it sounds like, right? Because again, his ultimate attack deals explode damage, right? He has an ability where if your unique gauge uh, is full and then you fall with strike or uh, blast, then you reduce that impact by 15%, right? And then after that, you nullify cover change. Obviously, like there's plenty of units that have cover change, this unit included. And not only that, then you also weaken strike and blast arts power, which is gonna be critical to how this unit functions because of being able to inflict those abnormal conditions. So now obviously there are other units in the game that are able to, you know, inflict effects and all that stuff. But it sounds like this unique gauge was made to counter himself. But, and I mean himself in the sense of like your opponent is also using Omega Shenron. So uh, that's gonna be interesting. I, I, if I wasn't confused before, I'm definitely confused now. Okay. If Onyini Gage is full when hit by an enemy's arts attack while this character is on the battlefield, it resets to zero and the following effects occur. Restores own health by 20%, plus 50% to next special move damage inflicted cannot be stacked. Reduces enemy key by 50, seals enemy's ultimate and awaken arts. The sealed arts cannot be used for five timer counts yeah like it's it sounds like he's just trying to counter himself so yeah the following effects occur on receiving an attack that reduces own health to zero activates once uh oh applies effect cannot be defeated to self cannot be canceled applies until enemy combo is finished oh no oh no he has undefeatable or or was it no uh, not undefeatable uh indestructible or whatever it was called um the ability that bardock and uh goku has that's what it sounds like to me because again it says that you'll be in that state until the combo is over right so the only unit in the game that has that type of ability is goku and bardock so that's not gonna be fun to deal with oh goodness okay um but that is a powerful ability actually a monstrously strong ability to pair with gt so that's actually really really good and then cancels own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions, of course. Nullifies own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions for 10 timer counts. Destroys all of your enemy's cards. Yeah, it's, it, I'm pretty sure it was uh, indestructible. Uh, I, I don't remember what the ability was called. Anyway, so yeah, they uh, he has that, which is good. Applies the following effects itself after effect cannot be defeated as ended. Restores health by 50%, plus 20% to damage inflicted cannot be canceled. Increases drag miles by one. So um, those are all of Omega Shenron's abilities. When it comes down to uh, some of his abilities, I'm kind of questionable about, and it's more so like we just have to see it in action. But then you get to like the very bottom of his abilities, right? And you see that he has uh, the same mechanic that Goku and Bardock has, which is a strong ability. Again, it knocks down your entire, like your opponent's entire hand, completely gone, and you stay in that state until the combo ends, which means the moment you get into that state, the opponent's combo is automatically over. It's automatically over because if they continuously attack you, it it afflicts or inflicts no damage to you whatsoever. Even if they're to combo into an ultimate attack, combo into rising rush, uh, whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. Also, I think it's actually a really good thing that this unit is a green unit for GT in particular because one, GT could honestly use like a better green unit like we did get like I think it was trunks uh baby parasitism or something like that but we definitely could use a better green unit and not only that against the likes of fusing super vegeto not only does this unit have element factor advantage against him but he's a hard counter to his rising rush mechanic so and I mean that in the sense of if he's comboing you and then um if he wants to use rising rush he hasn't activated that ability on omega shenron yet and he rushes you and even if the rush is guaranteed to land so long as that ability has been activated he won't die so yeah uh that's actually gonna be really good but the downside to that is though he may have some sort of advantage against fusing super vegeto he's at a disadvantage against ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta for very obvious reasons very obvious reasons like the one thing that this unit would have against Gogeta would be the indestructible mechanic. But apart from that though, he might end up being combo food for Gogeta. So we'll see how that works. 
All in all, though, I think this unit could be interesting, but we just need to see him in action for real. But I do want to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Inakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.